Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the subject of this video. My good friend and fellow YouTuber, Larkin's Lair, just sent me an accessory kit that he made for Golden Disc Collection Pterosaur. I got a little baggie here that has two shoulder cannons in it and two clip covers along with this mega cannon. Now, Larkin's become really good at 3D printing. He's been doing it for quite some time now, and he makes some really good stuff. So let's go ahead and check out the cannon and clips here. The shoulder cannons actually look really good lots of nice detail i love the coloring that just looks awesome now there are a left and a right Let me get them organized here because you can see the little tab sticking out from the side so let's go ahead and get these attached to pterosaur they're going to clip in right there where those rectangles are now you want to make sure and hold pterosaur's head forward to keep that from folding back because the back plate area right there has to be straight so you can get these in place. Let me hold Pterosaur's head down and get this one in. Make sure the tab is sticking out away from the head. And let me get that in there. So there we go. There is one cannon attached. I like the looks of that already. And let's go ahead and attach the second. So now we have both of Pterosaur's shoulder cannons attached, and I dig it. I like the looks of that. It's a lot more show accurate. Now that one is not staying in all the way. It could be because when I held the head to put the other in, it kind of popped out, but still looks really good. I'll have to work on that a little bit more. Now let's see if those shoulder cannons are blast effect compatible and Yes, they are. I love it. So there is the shoulder cannons. Now let's take a look at these clip covers. And these are designed to go right there in the clips that hold the wings together. If you have a pterosaur, you're very familiar how easy this wing pops off. Now I did add some floor polish to mine to help out a little bit, but let's go ahead and check these clip covers out. Just got a little peg right there. I'll peg that right in and what these should do is not only cover up that unsightly clip but should spread the clip out a little bit more to hold the wing more in place so there's one and the other and really that doesn't look too bad i like how it breaks up all of the red on pterosaur the next item is this mega cannon and if you're familiar with the beast wars television show You'll remember that there was one episode where Pterosaur got upgraded thanks to some Super Energon and took out Megatron with this very cannon. Pterosaur, you treacherous worm. I'll finish you forever! I don't think so. So now let's go ahead and trade his pistol out for the cannon and see how that looks. Nice tight fit in the hand. Let's see if we can get him to hold it like so. Yep, there we go. I like that. That's awesome. Now, unfortunately, the cannon is not blast effect compatible because it's more oval shaped, but still looks really good. Love the details on it. I like that. And of course, you can take his pistol and just peg it in to his leg like a holster. Also, it just dawned on me, the pegs up here on the shoulder cannons, they can peg in down here too for Pterosaur's beast mode. So his Pteranodon mode can have 
<laughs> laser cannons attached to his legs. So there is the upgrade set for Pterosaur. And as a bonus, Larkin also sent me a little upgrade for Kingdom Shadow Panther here. So just like Cheetor, Shadow Panther just came with his whip weapon, tail whip weapon. Man, it's hard to say. And Larkin sent me this blaster for him. So it comes in two pieces. Get that out of the bag. So we've got the base here. Kind of looks like Cheetor's gut gun. And then you have the barrel. I do like the fact that this is in two different collars. So there's the gun all put together. Let's put this in his hand. See what it looks like. And there we go. We've got Shadow Panther all armed and ready for battle. And I think that looks really, really good. Stand up, everybody. So yeah, big shout out to Larkin. Thank you so much for these upgrades. They really enhance both of these figures. Like I said earlier, Larkin does have an Etsy page where you can buy these items for yourself. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description below. Also, if you're not subscribed to Larkin's YouTube channel, we'll have that link down there as well. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! <laughs>